Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you how to set up and add the Google Recapture into your website using PHP. And it's a live demo on my real domain wpcharan.com. After uploading this login.php file into my remote server, I'm reloading this browser. Now here I'm entering some details which are the fake ones. I'm not checking the Google recapture checkbox. I'm trying to log in. And see here we got the error message. Check the username and password and as well as check the Google recapture. Now I'm trying to log in with the real credentials, email ID and password. I'm selecting the traffic lights. Two, three, four, verify, login. See here, I'm redirect to the welcome.php file. I'm clicking logout. In my previous video, I have showed how to create the login system. Now in this video, I will show you, I'm adding the Google recapture code to protect from the spammers. The very first thing we need, the Google recapture API. For that, go to Google, in the Google, type Google recapture. I just visited the Google recapture website. I'm clicking the get recapture button. To get the recapture API, you must have the Gmail account to log into this recapture. And the second thing, you need a website. I'm using my site name wpchallenge.com and choose the type of the recapture. I'm choosing the first radio button with checkbox control. My domain name is wpchallenge.com. I'm accepting the recapture terms of service. Click register. Come to the bottom. You see the adding recapture to your site. You got the site key, secret key, and the client side integration as well as the server side integration. Now let's get back to the coding part. We'll add these keys into my PHP code. Now I'm in the login.php page. First thing, come to the designing part between the header section. I need to add the recapture API, Google recapture website, and we'll get that Google API recapture JS file. In the Google recapture, adding recapture to your site after the keys, notice the client side integration. We need to copy and paste this between the header section. Now I'm pasting that script. After adding the JS script, now I need the Google verification recapture snippet. So I'm adding after the table between p tag. Let's again switch back to the Google recapture website. Add the Google recapture control. Come to the bottom and notice here the snippet of the recapture widget. So we need to paste this snippet between the form tag. Now between p tag, I'm adding the widget. That's it. Up to now, we have done the designing part. Before writing the server side code, let's save this file. We'll upload this login.php file into my remote server. We'll check the output on the browser. Just for the time saving, I have not showed to upload the file into my remote server. After uploading this login.php file into my remote server, I'm reloading this browser. So here we got the designing part of that Google recapture. Suppose if I log in, we got the general HTML5 validation error which I have showed in my previous video. But 
if the user without checking the recapture control try to log in I have to display the message let's quickly switch over to my PHP code we'll finish the server side coding after that we'll check the final output on the browser I'm back to the coding part go to top and this PHP code I already written the login functionality using PDO data objects now let's add the Google recapture server side coding in PHP dollar recapture underscore secret key dollar response is equals to file underscore get contents between double quotes in the recapture underscore secret I'm adding my secret key which I have already copied and pasting here now the second variable the file underscore get underscore contents I'm adding the recapture API site verify we'll copy the site verify URL let's again switch back to Google recapture now in adding recapture to your site the step 2 is a server side verification expand that one and this is a secret key which I have added and this is the site verify URL let's copy this one I'm adding the URL question mark secret is equals to between dots I'm adding the recapture secret key variable and response is equals to I'm closing the double quotes dot dollar underscore post between square brackets I'm adding g recapture hyphen response dollar response is equals to json decode and this decode method takes two parameters one is the response and the second variable is a boolean which is true if dollar response between double quote success true and between this if condition I am adding the login code now we need to close this if condition now the final step is I want to display the message if the user is not checking the checkbox control of the recapture come to the bottom Here I'm adding it called H1. I'm closing H1. Check the Google, check the Google recapture. let's save this file so now it's time to check the final results on the browser I'm reloading this page now here I'm entering some details which are the fake ones I'm not checking the Google recapture checkbox I'm trying to log in and see here we got the error message check the username and password and as well as check the Google recapture now I'm trying to log in with the real credentials email ID and password I'm selecting the traffic lights two three four verify login see here 
I'm redirect to the welcome.php file. I'm clicking logout. That's it. If you like this video, please leave your valuable comment, share this video, and please subscribe my channel. Catch you on my upcoming videos.